Alright, uh, let's continue on estimation theory for point estimator. So, uh, last class we already looked at uh, how to find an uh, estimator using a method of moment. Another one is uh, maximum likelihood estimator. Right, so for today we're going to look at uh, into a uh, good properties of uh, estimation. Right, so as introduction, estimator are random variables. Right? One of the key problem of the estimator is to study their sampling distribution. Lah. Right, for example, if we are estimating the variance of the population, right, on the basis of random sample, we hardly expect the value of uh, a variance or the population should be equal to S square. Right, so we will get actually uh, equal to sigma square lah. But it would be uh, reassuring at least to know whether we can expect to be close lah, to close to uh, population variance. Uh, this is um, uh, related to uh, chapter number 2, right? So we want the estimator to be close to uh, the point, uh, uh, sorry, the population uh, variance, right? So, uh, if you must decide whether to use sample mean or sample median to estimate the mean of population, it will be important to know among uh, x bar or mean, uh, mean or, or sorry, mean or median is more likely to get a value to the actual close lah. So, kita nak tahu uh, which uh, estimator yang akan produce the value that close to the population variance uh, population uh, estimate lah. so um, another example here uh, MLE or method of moment is used to identify the estimator of unknown parameter but these two value two estimate two method do not always yield the same answer right so selalunya uh, jawapan untuk uh, finding estimator using a maximum likelihood estimator or method of moment selalunya dia tidak akan sama lah right so for example kita tengok ni eh, uh, take a uniform distribution right so using um, maximum likelihood estimator the uh, estimator for theta hat should be the maximum of y right and by using a, max, a method of moment the estimator for theta should be summation of y divide by n multiply with 2 so they, we have two estimator right by using a different method uh, let's say you are using maximum likelihood estimator you can dapat satu uh, answer uh, using mean, uh, method of moment you can dapat lagi satu answer so the question here is uh, which method to use right so to to choose which method or which estimator to use, we need to rely on the properties of good estimator lah. There are four elements in a good estimator. First is unbiasedness. Second is consistency, efficiency and sufficiency lah. Right, so we have four components to indicate uh, that estimator is a good estimator. So we need to test whether the estimator is unbiased or biased. Efficiency means that the, uh, the variance, it has a minimum variance. Uh, kalau dia ada minimum variance means dia uh, consistent lah. Right? Uh, consistency and sufficiency lah. So let's look at unbiased estimator. <coughs> so definition number one. Right? A statistic uh, theta uh, hat is unbiased estimator of the parameter theta if and only if the expected of theta hat is equal to theta right so this is the indicator to indicate uh, that estimator is unbiased lah. so it should uh, uh, infer back to the theta if expected of uh, sigma uh, uh, to theta hat is not equal to theta then theta hat is said to be bias right so unbiased estimator it should be uh, uh, the true uh, value of the expected of uh, theta lah, right kalau bias maksudnya dia tak sama dengan uh, the true expected value right okay 
So now let's look at exam, uh, definition, definition number two. It's just actually the same as definition as number one, right? Uh, this is actually an alternate uh, definition. Lah. Suppose we have uh, y1 and the yn as a random sample from a continuous PDF where theta is unknown parameter. And then the estimator of theta hat is equal to h uh, function of y1 until yn. So this is a fun uh, estimator that we got from either using a maximum likelihood estimator or a method of moment. Right? So this estimator is said to be unbiased to for theta if expected of theta hat is equal to theta for all theta. Right? So very simple to understand uh, unbiased estimator when we try to find expected value of theta hat, it should be equal to theta. Right? So then the the estimator is said to be unbiased. Lah. Now let's look at example number one uh, to make our uh, to understand the definition of unbiased. Right? Uh, if x has a binomial distribution, right? Binomial distribution with a parameter n and theta, right? Show that the uh, sample proportion x divided by n is unbiased estimator for theta. Right. So first step is we know that from the prior knowledge the expected of x for binomial distribution should be equal to n p which is p here is replaced to theta. Right. This is the uh, based on a prior information right? we already know from uh, many special distribution. Uh, expected of uh, binomial distribution is n p which is n theta here so this one kita replace but uh, they are replaced by uh, p yeah. so now we try to find expected of x over n right so x over n is equal to 1 over n expected of x right so this one should be 1 over n multiply with n theta so this one should be equal to theta so now we can say that uh, x over n is unbiased estimator for theta. Okay, very simple, right? So we just need to find the uh, expected value of the parameter. Right? It should be equal to theta. So now let's look at example number 16. Uh, show that unless theta equal to 1 over half, Right, uh, 1 over 2, right, um, is a minimax estimator of binomial parameter theta is x plus 1 over 2 square root of n divided by n plus square root of n. It's a bias estimator, right? So, bias estimator means that the expected of x is not equal to theta. So, we know that expected of x is equal to n theta. Right, then we need to find expected of one uh, sorry x plus one over two square root of n divided by n plus square root of n. So this one should kita tarik keluar the constant value, right? Um, n plus square root of n expected of x plus one over two square root of n. So this one should be uh, n theta plus 1 over 2 square root of n divided by n plus square root of n. So this one is not equal to theta. So then we can say that uh, uh, the result is not, is a, is a bias estimator. Right? So this is a bias estimator. Right? Okay? Boleh, eh? So let's look at example number 17. Uh, so the x1 until xn constitute a random sample from a population given by uh, exponential negative x minus delta shows that x bar is a bias estimator of delta. So to find uh, bi a bias estimator, so we need to 
find the expected value of x. So expected of value of x is from uh, delta to infinity lah. Right, we need to multiply x exponential negative x minus delta with respect to x. So this one should be equal to 1 plus delta. Right. So we want to find as expected of x bar. We want to know whether x bar is biased or unbiased estimator. So we need to find expected of x bar. So expected of x bar is equal to um, is equal to mu, right? Which is also equal to expected of x, lah, right? So sepatutnya sama lah. This is based on chapter number two, uh, sampling distribution. Right? Remember sampling distribution, right? Expected of x bar should be equal to mu, which is also equal to expected of x, right? So now, since um, since oops, since the expected of x bar is equal to one plus delta, so which is uh, not equal to delta, so we can say that um, x bar is bias estimator of delta okay <clears throat> so let's look at example number 18 Example number 18, x1 until xn be a random sample from exponential distribution. Uh, theta is a parameter for exponential distribution. So we want to know that whether x bar equal to 1 over 2 multiplied with summation of x is unbiased estimator. From the prior knowledge, we know that expected of x for exponential is equal to theta. Lah. So expected of x bar equal to uh, expected of uh, sorry this is not 1 over 2 uh, I think this is 1 over n baru betul lah right the formula uh, this is 1 over n eh? uh, baru dia sama dengan x bar 1 over 2 is not equal to x bar lah right uh, so then this one should be 1 summation of xi divided by n right so this one should be 1 over n expected of um, x1 plus x2 plus until xn right so this one should be n aspect uh, sorry this is uh, n multiply with uh, sorry this is um, basically uh, theta plus theta plus until theta n divided by n. So, this one should be n theta over n equal to theta. So, we can say that x bar is unbiased estimator of theta. Right? So, this topic very simple. Right? Uh, I think you can do it uh, for example number 19. You can also do it by yourself. Uh, let me show example number 19. Eh? Nanti kita akan skip uh, others example. So, x1 until xn be a random sample from exponential distribution. Benda yang sama. Right. So, we know that expected of x is equal to theta. So, let x uh, theta hat 1 is x1 plus x2 divided by theta. Theta x2 is theta uh, x1 plus 2x2 divided by 3. So this is a 2 estimator. So expected of theta 1 hat is equal to expected of x1 plus x2 divided by 2. So this one should be 1 over 2 theta plus theta equal to 2 theta over 2 equal to theta. So we can say is that uh, theta 1 hat is unbiased estimator of 
theta. Then the second one is as theta 2 hat is equal to expected of x1 plus 2x3, so 2x2 divided by 3. So this one should be 1 over 3 uh, multiplied with theta plus 2 theta equal to theta. So same goes to theta 2 hat is unbiased estimator of theta. Right? Very simple. Um, for example number 20, I think you can do it by yourself. Right? Example number 21 as well. Uh, let's look at example number 22. So, example number 22, uh, 20, 20, 21, you can do it by yourself. Eh? If you start, you can ask me a question uh, about that example. So, uh, suppose that y1 until yn is an independent random variable with a population density function. right? So, y power of 3 divided by 6 phi power of 4 exponential negative y over theta. y is more than 0. So, kalau kita tengok dekat sini, uh, it look like a gamma distribution, kan? Uh, it look like a gamma distribution. So, 1 over uh, gamma alpha beta power of alpha uh, alpha negative. Sorry, this is um, x power of negative alpha. Sorry, uh, uh, x power of alpha minus 1, I think exponential negative uh, y over beta right kalau kita tengok dekat sini uh, alpha is equal to 4 and beta is equal to phi right kalau kita tengok dekat sini if you compare right if you compare carefully phi is beta right alpha dekat sini dekat sini so alpha is equal to 4 so we we know that this is a gamma distribution with uh, let's say y is having gamma distribution with alpha equal to 4 and beta equal to phi right and from here we know that uh, the expected of y is equal to alpha beta right so alpha beta is 4 phi right expected of gamma uh, expected of x for gamma distribution is alpha beta so it should be equal to uh, 4 phi right so we want to know whether uh, this estimator phi hat is equal to y bar over 4 is unbiased estimator so first step we need to find the uh, expected of uh, so it's not of theta this is a phi hat should be equal to expected of y bar divided by 4 so this one 1 over 4 um, 1 over 4 expected of summation of y i divided by 4 as the divided by n right so um We can take out the n uh, out there. So 4n expected of summation of yi. So this one, uh, 1 over 4n multiply with 4, uh, 4 phi plus 4 phi plus until the n 4 phi. So this one should be n 4 phi over 4n. So it should be equal to phi so this is unbiased estimator lah. so phi hat is unbiased estimator of phi okay another one is uh, the last example for unbiased estimator is uh, example number 23 so it's a big uh, example let, let me Get this down so one observation is taken on the discrete random variable y the probability mass function of y with uh, uh, lambda is equal to 1 2 and 3 is given by this table 
So this is the probability distribution table, right? When y equal to zero, so when lambda is equal to one, the probability should be equal to one over three. When y is equal to three, the probability uh, uh, the lambda is equal to two, the probability should be one over four, right? When y equal to two, the gamma is equal to three, so the probability is one over four. The total here should be equal to one, lah. So then uh, we need to find the maximum likelihood estimator for for lambda. So to find the maximum likelihood estimator, uh, since uh, maximum likelihood estimator is to find the largest value, uh, you want to find the largest point. So the largest point here should be equal to one over two, right? One over two. So we can say that when f y equal to three and lambda is equal to three is equal to one over two. So this is the largest uh, estimator. So the estimator of uh, lambda hat is equal to three. Right. So the estimator is equal to three. So we want to know whether this estimator lambda hat is equal to three is unbiased estimator, right? So we need to find the expected of y, right? So the expected of y should be equal to three, lah. Right. If expected of y is not equal to three, then uh, it is an bias estimator. This is a bias estimator. So, um, so since we have y is an, uh, from zero until four, right? So y multiply with f y i, right? Y i when lambda is equal to three. Right, so this one should be, kita ambil dekat sini lah, right? So when y equal to 0, lambda is equal to 3, uh, this is 0 lah, probability is equal to 0. Right, when y equal to 1, lambda uh, uh, lambda is equal to 3, then this the probability should be equal to 0 as well. When y is equal to 2, and lambda is equal to 3, this is 1 over 4, right, and so on lah, 3, 1 over 2, 4, 1 over 4, so this one should be lead us to 3, uh, the total of this sum function is equal to 3, so since a lambda hat is equal to 3, so we can say that a lambda hat is an unbiased estimator of lambda okay boleh very simple now let's look at the next uh, topic which is efficiency very much more Okay, efficiency. So, it is uh, usually possible to obtain more than one unbiased estimator, right? Maybe you calculate uh, using a maximum likelihood estimator, you got this uh, estimator. And for moment, like uh, method of moment, you dapat satu lagi estimator. And these two estimator is unbiased estimator. So, which one to use? Which one to choose? So, we need to consider the efficiency estimator. So let theta 1 and theta 2 uh, are unbiased estimator for the same parameter theta. We would prefer to use estimator with the smaller variance. Lah, right? So if you still remember the coefficient of variation you learn in STA uh, 116, I think uh, the first uh, subject of statistics that you belajar, right? Uh, they are the confi uh, consistency uh, uh, coefficient of variation. So, coefficient of variation when we, s we have two distribution. So, which distribution is more consistent? Right, kita akan ambil yang the smallest variance. Okay? So, 
Let's look at the definition number one. Let uh, theta one hat and theta two hat are unbiased estimator of parameter theta. If uh, variance of theta one hat is smaller than theta two hat, we can say that uh, theta one hat is more efficient compared to theta two hat. Right. So the relative efficiency, right? This is how much uh, coefficient of variation. Uh, theta 1 hat is with respect to theta 2 hat is variance of theta 2 hat divided by variance of theta 1 hat we will get efficiency so if efficiency is more than 0 we can say that the theta 1 hat is unbiased estimator sorry is better unbiased estimator uh, compared to theta 2 hat if efficiency less than 0 and uh, less than 1 we can say that um, um, theta 2 hat is better unbiased estimator, right? And the condition here is, uh, before we calculate for efficiency, both parameter, both estimator should be unbiased first lah. Uh, kalau dia tak unbiased, tak boleh lah. Now, let's look at example number 24. Let me have some space here, right? Example number 24, we can say that let y1 until y3 be a random sample from a normal distribution. A right? normal distribution, both mu and variance sigma squared are unknown. Which which is more uh, as efficient for uh, mu? So, ni soalan ni tak habis. Ha? Dia ada satu lagi, dia punya efficiency, uh, dia punya estimate, uh, estimator dia lah. Mu1 hat is equal to... 1 over 4 y1 plus 1 over 2 y2 plus 1 over 4 y3. Right? Another uh, estimator is 1 over 3 y1 plus 1 over 3 y2 plus 1 over 3 y3. So this is the estimator. We want to know whether which one is more efficient. First step is we need to check whether mu1 and mu2 are unbiased estimator. Check whether mu1 hat and mu2 hat are unbiased. So if one of uh, these two are unbiased, uh, biased, so kita akan ambil yang unbiased lah. Right? So first thing is expected of mu1 hat should be equal to expected of 1 over 4 y1 1 over 2 y2 1 over 4 y3 so this one should be 1 over 4 mu plus 1 over 2 mu plus 1 over 4 mu so this one should be equal to mu so we can say that uh, mu 1 hat is unbiased estimator Right. For the second one is uh, expected of mu 2 hat is equal to expected of 1 over 3 y1 plus 1 over 3 y2 plus 1 over 3 y3. So this one should be 1 over 3 mu 1 and uh, mu only mu plus 1 over 3 mu plus 1 over 3 mu so this one should be equal also equal to mu right so we can say that uh, mu 2 hat is unbiased estimator right so since both are unbiased estimator so then we need to find the variance of uh, find variance of mu 1 hat and mu2 hat so the variance of mu1 hat is equal to 1 over sorry this is a variance 1 over 1 over 4 y1 plus uh, 1 over 2 y2 plus 1 over 4 y3 so this one 1 over 16 uh, sigma squared Right, 
So this one 1 over 4 sigma squared plus 1 over 16 sigma squared. So this one should be equal to 3 sigma squared over 8. Right? Another one is variance mu 2 hat. So variance 1 over 3 y1 plus 1 over 3 y2 plus 1 over 3 y3. So this one should be 1 over 9 sigma squared plus 1 over 9 sigma squared plus 1 over 9 sigma squared. So this one should be uh, 3 sigma squared over 9. So which one is more smallest? So 1 over 3 or 3 over 8. So this of course uh, 1 over 3 is the smallest uh, variance can. So we can say that mu 2 hat sorry uh, variance of mu 2 hat is the smallest uh, variance right so <clears throat> number three to calculate the efficiency efficiency score right efficiency of uh, mu 1 hat and mu 2 hat is equal to variance of mu 2 hat divided by variance of mu 1 hat right so this one should be 3 over 9 sigma squared over 3 over 8 sigma squared so this one should be equal to 0 0.888 so since the uh, the value of efficiency is less than one, right? The value of efficiency is less than one. We can say that uh, mu hat mu two hat is uh, efficient estimator. Any questions so far? No question, sir. Right. So let's look at example number 25. Right. Uh, example number 25. I think example number 25 you can do it by yourself. Uh, example number 26 you example number 26 right? 25 you buat sendiri eh? very simple uh, example right? Let's look at example number 26 so example number 26 uh, we have y1 until y3 be exponential uh, distribution with parameter theta so for exponential distribution expected of x is equal to theta variance of x is equal to theta squared right so let uh, theta 1 hat is equal to 3y1 plus 3y2 uh, divided by 4 and theta 2 hat is 2y1 plus 3y3 divided by 4 Right, so this is a two estimator of for theta, and so they kata dekat sini, uh, theta 1 and theta 2 are said to be unbiased. So we no need to check for unbiasedness, right? It's already said to be unbiased, but we can also check. But uh, in final exam or your assessment, uh, will be a waste of time, lah. Right, you're going to check, you're going to double check the statement, but it's okay to check. Right, uh, tapi kalau tak check pun tak apa But uh, this already says that uh, this is unbiased Okay, tak apalah kita check tengok lah Expected of theta 1 hat is equal to Expected of 3 1, uh, 3 y 1 
plus y2 divided by 4. So this one should be 3 theta plus theta over 4 is equal to theta. Lah. Right, expected of theta 2 hat should be equal to expected of 2y1 plus 3y3 divided by 5. Benda yang sama lah. 2 theta plus 3 theta divided by 5 is equal to theta. So, both y, uh, theta 1 hat and theta 2 hat are unbiased. Estimator for theta. Right? So, the next step that we need to do is to find the variance of theta 1 hat. So, this one should be variance of 3y1 plus y2 divided by 4. So, this one 1 over 16. Uh, variance of 3y1 plus a variance of y1 right so this one should be uh, 1 over 16 9 multiply with theta square right theta square plus theta squared so this one should be 10 theta squared divided by 16 so uh, kalau kita boleh simplify then this should be 5 over 8 theta squared right and variance for theta 2 hat should be equal to variance of uh, 2y1 plus 3y3 divided by 5 so this one should be 1 over uh, 25 variance of 2y1 plus variance of 3y3 so this one should be 1 over 25, 4 theta squared plus 9 theta squared. So this one should be 13 over 25 theta squared, which is also equal to, okay, I cannot simplify. So which one is more smaller? 10 over 16 or 13 over 25? Of course. 13 over 25, right? So, theta, theta 2 hat is, so since uh, variance of theta 2 squared, uh, theta 2 hat is the smallest compared to variance of theta 1 hat. So, we can say that theta 2 hat is efficient estimator. Uh, you can also calculate the efficiency. The efficiency, theta, variance of theta 2 hat divided by variance of theta 1 hat. So, if the efficiency is less than, zero, less than 1, so theta 2 hat is the uh, efficient estimator. Okay? Alright. Are you clear with this one? Let's look at... Yeah? Ada soalan tak? Very simple? Tak, tinggi dah tak. Alright, good. So, let's move to the next level of efficiency. Right? Uh, by using a... If you want to find uh, efficiency, using a kramer row uh, lower bound formula. Using a minimum variance estimator. Uh, Kramer Rao lower bound. So the minimum variance estim unbiased estimator. So the, we are looking into minimum variance unbiased estimator, uh, which is MVUE. This is a short form for the term of minimum variance unbiased estimator. Given two estimator theta one hat and theta two hat are both unbiased estimator for the parameter theta. Uh, you need to remember both the condition should be. Uh, theta 1 hat and theta 2 hat should be unbiased estimator. Be we know in a prior knowledge, uh, in efficiency, the best estimator with us is the smallest variant. Right? But the question is how good theta 1 and theta 2 hat to others unbiased estimator. Right? 
we, we are comparing uh, currently, previously kita compare two estimator. We know that theta 1 and theta 2. We are not considering others uh, estimator. If they are using a uh, uh, method of uh, Bayesian um, log, uh, likelihood estimator, right? So, others method yang kita tak belajar, right? Kita nak tahu which or I, uh, whether this uh, uh, estimator is uh, really the minimum esti uh, unbiased estimator compared to others uh, estimator exists in the world, right? So, we are using minimum variance and bias estimator method. kramer rao lower bound uh, method. So, the question here is, is there any other estimator? Uh, is there an uh, estimator uh, theta hat 3? Right? So, so, the question need to be answered is, is that theta 3 has a smallest variant compared to theta 1 and theta 2 hat right can we identify the unbiased estimator having a smallest variance so this is a question that we need to consider in this uh, question uh, subtopic to answer the question we need to use kramer rao lower bound uh, if the variance given theta hat is equal to kramer uh, kramer rao lower bound right is the variance of theta hat equal to kramer rao lower bound so we know that the estimator is optimal in the sense there are no unbiased estimator can estimate with a greater precision right so theorem number two so let's look at the theorem let y1 until yn be a random sample from a continuous pdf where where fy theta is a has a continuous first order and the second order partial derivative but all a finite set of points lah maksudnya dia ada dia ada value lah right so suppose that a uh, set of ys which uh, f fy theta is not equal to 0 the probability is not equal to 0 and does not depend on theta so the, the theta uh, hat is a function that uh, that be an bias estimator Right, so let's uh, satu uh, estimator ni kita dah jumpa satu estimator yang unbiased estimator. So the variance of theta hat should be more than or equal to n multiply with the expected of derivative or ln function of y theta with respect to theta squared. And we are taking the 1 over lah, uh, the inverse lah, the 1 over, so misalnya 1 per n, so dia sepatutnya jadi macam ni lah, 1 over uh, n expected of uh, derivative of ln uh, f y theta divided with respect to theta, and then this is a square lah, right, benda yang sama, ataupun kita boleh put a negative point here, right, kalau negative point should be equal to equal lah, right, Another one is uh, theorem number three is this one lah, benda yang sama tadi. Right, uh, theorem number four, it is assumed that uh, PDF satisfy the regularity condition. Maksudnya, uh, expected of uh, different uh, derivative of ln Fy is equal to zero, then we need to use this formula. If the expected of uh, derivative is not equal to zero, then we need to use theorem number two. Uh, theorem number three lah, mana yang sama. Two and three are same. Right? Boleh faham ah? If the expected is not equal to zero, then use this formula. If the expected equal to zero, then use this formula. Okay? Now let's look at example number 27. So kita ada berapa example? Right, uh, very little example, okay. So example number 27, right? Um, show that x bar 
is a minimum variance and bias estimator of mean of a normal population, mean mu of a normal population. So we want to know that whether x bar is a minimum variance and bias estimator. So the normal population f x should be equal to 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma square exponential negative 1 over 2 x minus mu squared divided by sigma squared so this is uh, from negative infinity to infinity right so let's look at the first one variance of variance of mu hat is equal to 1 over and multiply with the expected of uh, derivative of ln fx with respect to mu and we square here right so from the prior knowledge we know that expected of x is equal to mu and is equal is also equal to x bar right and mu hat is equal to x bar equal to summation of xi divided by n and we also know that the variance, uh, which is variance of x, should be uh, variance of x bar. Right? We are talking about x bar. Right? Variance of x bar should be equal to sigma squared over n. So this is uh, uh, we already discussed on chapter number two, last chapter, right? sampling distribution. Right? So we already know this from the prior knowledge. So first step, uh, let's say. Uh, first step because ini kita nak tengok the ln fx right kita tengok ln fx dulu so the first step we need to find ln fx so ln fx will be ln uh, 1 over 2 pi sigma squared right exponential negative 1 over 2 x minus mu divided by sigma and then you square lah bila yang sama I to take out the square right uh, so this one should be ln 1 minus um, kalau berkeluarkan ln sigma right mm, plus this one tutup, tutup kurungan ln 2 pi 1 over 2 1 over 2 should be covered for the whole thing lah. Right? And then uh, this one for the first part. The second part is mine uh, plus. Plus. Tapi I, I take out lah. Ln E is equal to 1 kan. Minus ln. Uh, minus 1 over 2. X minus mu. Divided by sigma. Right? And of course, the ln E can I, I, ln E is equal to one. So this is the ln zero. I let lah bagi tak confuse kan. So this one should be equal to zero. This is equal to one. So next, this one should be negative ln sigma minus ln two pi one over two. Minus 1 over 2 x minus mu divided by sigma squared. Right. The second step is we need to find the derivative. Kan? The derivative of uh, mu uh, ln fx with respect to mu. Right. So d d mu ln fx right so this one should be d d mu negative ln sigma d d mu ln 2 pi 1 over 2 minus d d mu 1 over 2 x minus mu uh, maybe I will take out Take out the constant here, 1 over 2 sigma squared, uh, x minus mu squared. Right? 
so this one should be um, this one should be zero this one should be zero we are focusing on this part only right okay so this one should be um, negative 1 over 2 sigma squared x minus mu squared uh, multiply with 2 this one this one 1 already but dalam ni negative 1 right so this one should be uh, 2 sigma eh, sorry 2 over 2 sigma squared x minus mu so this one o is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma okay Well, yeah. So why not? The uh, case ini, kalau kita nampak the case ini, right? So the ke atas tak ada sig, tak ada square lah. The ke bawah ada square, right? So let's try to make it. Uh, dia punya equation tu nampak macam kita punya familiarization. Kita pernah tengok uh, t or z distribution kan z distribution is x bar x minus mu divided by sigma right x minus mu divided by sigma so we can also take out this one x minus mu divided by sigma multiply with 1 over sigma so kita nak bagi kita uh, distribution tu kita nampak eh, seperti yang pernah kita nampak right so senang kita nak buat inference lah and nak buat calculation kalau tak lah dia punya calculation akan jadi rumit so next step is we already find the different derivative of ln fx so we need to find the expected value right so the expected value of um, of this one square right so third step we need to find expected value wait now we we'll look at the formula uh, formula dia dia dalam ni eh expected square dalam ni eh right so this one should be square kat dalam lah right this is square right <clears throat> so the expected of uh, x minus mu divided by sigma multiply with 1 over sigma and then get a square right so, dekat sini kita akan nampak expected of 1 over sigma squared multiply with x minus mu sigma and then square. Right? So, kalau kita ingat lagi dalam um, dalam normal population, z distribution kan? Right? Uh, expected of x minus mu divided by sigma right with the square kat sini so this one should be equal to 1 over sigma squared expected of x minus mu squared right so this one is a second moment about the origin kan right kalau kita tengok second moment about the origin it should be equal to sigma squared so this one should be 1 over sigma squared multiply with sigma squared is equal to 1. Right, kita pernah tengok kan? So sebab apa kita buat macam ni tadi? Sebab kita nak familiarize kan dalam bentuk Z distribution. So kita boleh uh, make out 
take out macam ni, right? So, expected of x minus mu squared is equal to sigma, right? So, kita keluarkan sigma, 1 over sigma squared. So, this one should be equal to 1. So, this one should be 1 over sigma squared. So, then uh, number 4, right? So, we take the whole formula lah. 1 over n expected of derivative so this is the derivative ln fx with respect to mu and we squared here should be equal to 1 over n sigma squared n multiply 1 over sigma squared so this one should be sigma squared over n <coughs> so we can say that since variance of x bar is equal to sigma squared over n right and which is also equal to uh, the variance of uh, normal population right right uh, so the, so then you can say that uh, x bar is a minimum variance unbiased estimator of mu okay Nampak? Sebab dia punya expected value is not equal to zero, then we are using this formula. Right? If the expected value is equal to zero, then we need to do a second derivative lah. Remember, theorem number two and theorem number four. Eh, theorem, sorry, theorem number three and theorem number four. Right? Kalau dia punya expected value is not equal to zero, then use uh, theorem number two, number three. If the expected value is equal to zero, then we need to take a second derivative. Right, so let's look at the example number 28. You can, I think you can do it by yourself. Very simple example. Right, uh, example number 29 exponential distribution 30 is uh, this distribution from exponential juga, but yang sama. Right, uh, 31 is from uh, gamma distribution, 32 is Poisson distribution. Right. I think kita tengok satu example last, right? Uh, example number 20. Tuan Piti berapa nak tengok? Kita tengok example yang gamma distribution ni lah. So, yang lain ni boleh buat sendiri lah. Eh? 28, 29, 30, uh, 31, 32, 32 pun boleh buat sendiri. Uh, kita tengok example 20, 31. Right? Last example for today. Right? So, make sure you do by yourself example number 28, 29, 30, 32. Right, so I'm going to show you example number 20, uh, 31. So let uh, x1 until xn be a random sample from size n uh, from a distribution of probability dis, uh, from a distribution with probability distribution function uh, x power of 3, 6, 
lambda power of 4 exponential negative x over lambda so based on this one kita tengok uh, kita compare dengan gamma distribution so beta is equal to lambda and alpha is equal to 4 and expected of x should be alpha beta for lambda and variance of x should be alpha beta squared should be 4 lambda squared so it shows that lambda hat equal to x bar minus divided by 4 is unbiased estimator so uh, unbiased estimator Uh, for lambda right so expected of lambda hat should be equal to expected of x bar divided by 4 so this one should be 1 over 4 um, some expected of uh, x1 plus x2 plus until xn so this one should be um, 1 over 4 uh, 4 lambda plus 4 lambda plus 4 lambda uh, 4 lambda plus 4 lambda so this one should be proper um 4n lambda divided by 4 right so kenapa tak dapat lambda wait ah Oh yeah, this one is summation of x over n, kan? So, tukulukan ke sini, sini, so it should be equal to lambda lah, right? So, now, uh, variance of, variance of lambda hat should be equal to variance of x bar divided by 4, right? So, this one should be 1 over 16, variance of summation of x i over n n right so this one should be uh, 1 over 16 n square uh, multiply with variance x1 plus until variance x n so this one should be uh, 4 lambda square n divided by 16 n square so this one should be 4 lambda squared over 16 n lambda squared over 4 n lah. so this is the variance of lambda hat right so first step is we need to find the ln fx right to to find the max minimum variance unbiased estimator for lambda right uh, so this one should be lambda uh, ln of x power of 3 divided by 6 lambda power of 4 exponential negative x over lambda uh, so this one should be 3 ln x minus uh, 4 ln 6 lambda minus x over lambda ln e right so this one sama dengan 1 eh. So kita tinggal yang ni je lah. Right. The second step is we need to find the derivative of ln fx with respect to uh, lambda. So this one should be d d lambda ln x minus d d lambda 4 ln 6 lambda minus d d lambda 
x over lambda. So this one should be equal to 0 and this one should be 4 over 6 lambda multiply with 6. Right? And then this one should be um, x over lambda square multiply with negative 1. Right? So this one should be 4 over lambda negative 4 over lambda plus x over lambda squared x over lambda squared minus 4 lambda so if you are taking uh, expected value right kita to tengok expected value of d lambda fx uh, ln fx with respect to lambda should be uh, expected of x over lambda square minus 4 lambda square. Right, so this one should be 4 lambda divided by lambda square minus 4 lambda. Right, so this one, this one, so 4 lambda minus, uh, 4 over lambda minus 4 over lambda is equal to 0. Right, so since expected value of derivative, the first derivative is equal to 0, then we're going to do a second derivative. So d d squared ln fx with respect to lambda. This is the second derivative d d lambda x divided by lambda squared minus d d lambda 4 over lambda. So this one should be uh, 4 lambda square. I, I bought in the panel dulu eh. Right. Mm. minus 2x lambda square lambda power of 3 right, kalau you simplify you, you di differentiate, you akan dapat macam ni lah and then uh, step number 4, we need to find the expected of second derivative of ln fx with respect to lambda so this one should be 4 over lambda minus 2x over lambda power of 3. So this one should be 4 over lambda minus 2 4 lambda over lambda power of 3. So this one should be equal to 4 over lambda minus 8 lambda over lambda power of 3. Right, kalau kita boleh simplify kan dia. Uh, this is power of 2 kan? Power of 2, power of 2, power of 2. Right, so this one 4 minus... 8 over lambda power of 2 should be equal to negative 4 over lambda power of 2. Right. So then by using the formula, right, Kramer Rao law of bound, right, negative 1 over n expected of second derivative fx with respect to lambda should be equal to uh, 1 over negative n uh, multiply with negative 4 over lambda squared right this one should be equal to 1 over 4 n over lambda squared right so this one should be lambda squared over 4 n so since variance of lambda hat is equal to lambda square divided by 4n is equal to equal to camera lower bound right then we can see that lambda hat is minimum variance unbiased estimator uh, for theta uh, for lambda So 
so um, we just follow the step right um, example number 32 you can do it by yourself I think right 32 you can do it by yourself so the next class we will focus on sufficient estimator and consistent estimator and the last one is consistent estimator and then we finish chapter number four uh, sorry chapter number three right so example number 28 29 30 and 32 i, I want you to do by yourself right so any questions so far before we end our session So if you have no question, then I think that's all. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.